I'm going to be bringing you a video uh, which I'll teach the basics of Game Maker. Um, I'm doing this video because of a request and one of my mates wanted me to do this video and um, put some of my extensive Game Maker knowledge to good use. Um, I've made a game before so you know, I thought I'd share a bit of my experience with you guys. So let's go ahead and create a new project if you haven't already. Open up Game Maker and what we're going to do is we first uh, go is we want to save the project. Saving is absolutely mandatory and make sure you do it absolutely compulsively because Game Maker could crash and you'll lose everything if you have not got it saved. So we'll just name this example for now and save that. Okay, so when we look around the window, we've got a couple of things up here. We've got the title bar and you've got all your tools that you've got here. And we've got our little inspector here, which we can use to edit some things of the scene. We can pull up the global game information here, which you can make that display. We've got some settings here. Extension packages, if you want to use that. I've got some extension packages lying around somewhere. I might load them up later. Um, okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to create a room. Rooms are basically like um, areas where you can create your game. Okay, but these rooms don't work without objects to do. And to do this, we need to, we need to we can create an object. So to create an object, you just click New Object up here, and it will create an object for you. So when you create a new object for the first time, you'll notice that the object end of the window pops up. So we've got a lot of function over here on the right, which we can use to control the object. If you go up here and add effect got all these different effects that happen say I don't know if the object collides with something when it's first created when it's destroyed if you click on it um, there's draw events key presses there's a whole, a whole huge toolbox of stuff that you can use here it's just it's fantastic um, so let's go ahead and create a sprite so we can see what we're doing up here you want to create a sprite now if uh, when we create it, when we have our first sprite here, nothing's loaded at the moment. We haven't assigned any images to the sprite. So we want to go edit sprite and add a new image. And what, what, what are we going to do? Okay, let's just make the player. I don't want to go for anything too overly content, concept, so let's just go for maybe a circle or something. Something like that, I, I don't know. Um, save that, save that. Okay. Okay, so now we've got our player here, and what we're going to do is we want to we give the player some function. So, let's go through the tedious process of making the key presses. So, what we want to do is we want to go uh, key press uh, letters A, and keep going there's key press, letters D, until we get all the WASD keys that we need. Duplicating there. Woo! Um, that is what have I missed? W A W. I'll be okay. And we want to do key release. Oh, actually, um, hmm. Okay, so key press, key press, key release. Okay, yeah, okay, so letters A, we'll do this again. Um, is it the same? I'm pretty sure it's if it's the same. Hmm. Okay, I haven't used Game Maker in a long time, so let me test something. If we go to, um, let us see. Um, okay, so you want to you want to put an event in each thing, because otherwise, if you don't, then Game Maker is going to chuck a bit of a hissy fit and it's going to delete all your events. So make sure you have at least something in there. Putting a comment in there is sufficient. Okay, so what we're going to do is when I press the C key, I want to move in a direction right at a speed of 2. So click save, run, oh wait, oh actually you can't, can't do it yet. Oh silly me, silly me, I haven't even built my game. I haven't even built the, the level. Okay, so um, now we've created the object, we've got an object, right? So we go to room 0 and we click object 0 and place it in the scene. Now because I haven't assigned a sprite to this, it's going to pop up with a little blue question mark. 
blue question mark objects don't have any colliders, and also they are invisible. You can use them for making game managers and stuff like that that run in the background and manage your game We're using global variables and stuff. We'll go into that later. But yeah, it's pretty much invisible and it doesn't have any collision at all, so nothing will even interact with this image. Um, as far as it knows now. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a sprite to this. So we want to go sprite, sprite 0. And now you see that pops up. We've got a sprite for our object. And this also refreshes in the scene. Anything that's not being used will just get deleted. So, alright, we're going to make the player move when they press, press the A key. Left. Whoop. Left. Oh, wait. Hmm. Actually. No, what we're going to do is we're going to do, do use this function instead. The reverse horizontal. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Um, here we go. Set the speed. So the horizontal speed will be minus 2. Here we go. When they press D, we want to set that to 2. And we do the vertical speed, minus 2 because we're going down. Oh, wait, wait, wait. 2 because we're going down, minus, minus 2 if we're going up. That's how it goes. Set, uh, when they release the S key, we want to set the vertical speed to 0. Oh. And when they release... That, send that to zero. Beautiful. Uh, delete that. We'll do horizontal to zero. Yeah. And yeah. And that's movement done. So I press play, and we should be able to get a nice smooth movement. Um, and it should be nice. So we got. Oh, well, a W doesn't seem to be working correctly. Uh, so let's go back and. So that's uh, minus 2. Uh. Yeah, okay, there we go. Yeah, I forgot to change that. Okay. WASD. We got some nice diagonal movement as well. Um, but yeah, the character will stop if you press both keys at the same time or you press one. It's good for now. Um, if you're playing around, you won't really notice it too much unless you're trying to, you know, move around. But yeah. Um, so we've got our objects. Let's start by adding um, an enemy or, or let's add some kind of death condition or something. So let's say, um, let's first add the enemy. Whoop. <laughs> add the sprite. Um, and let's just add a basic enemy. Go ahead and make the thing red. Okay, that's nice. Let's make an enemy. That's right. And let's see if it collides with the player. We want to restart the room. Let's make an event um, fade out and in. Okay, so we place the enemy in the room. Enemy here. Here, here, and here. Beautiful. So if we collide with the player, or if the object collides with the player, then scene restarts. So this is your basic win-lose condition, um, only we've got a lose function right now. I guess the win would be to survive as long as you can. <laughs> well, they don't really do anything at the moment. Okay, so let's do a... Step, and we want to. Uh, where's that function gone? It should be. Should be. Oh, here we go. Step towards avoiding barriers. Now we want to do object zero dot x and object zero dot y. Speed of one. Avoids all solids. Beautiful. Okay, so basically what this is, what this step function is, is this step function is called on a loop all the time. Okay, so we're going to manipulate this, and for every step that's called, we want the this object to move towards the player at a speed of one. Hopefully, if my game maker skills are up to scratch, this should work. Yeah. 
Oh, here we go. Okay, so we've got the objects following the player. This is this is good. All right, and then if we touch them, we restart. Okay, there we go. Not bad, not bad. All right, so um, in the next, I'm gonna cut the video here, and in the next tutorial, um, I'll go into a bit deeper into um, Game Maker and how to use sounds and stuff like that, and we'll probably make some better sprites. But oh, I'm no drawer, but it's all right. Um, so I'll see you guys in the next video.